On the, uh, the February 17, 2014, it has the, the uh, mayor called the meeting at 908 a.m. and then the meeting was reset at 9.30 p.m. that should be 8. We've already called that and corrected that. Anything else? We have no invited guests tonight. Mr. Sanders, you have a report? I do, just a, a, a short uh, verbal report. Do you want to tell us what that's about? Uh, we've just got uh, an update on... Uh, uh, some uh, promotions in the police department, uh, update on the uh, SPLOS projects for the set-aside, uh, LCI update, uh, announcement of Jason Thompson as our interim planning director, and uh, uh, just a note for the staff, for the good job that they did in my absence. We have nothing on tonight's consent agenda and nothing under the public hearing. Under new business, we have the Tom Green plan. Well, we'll talk about what's what's out there as far as a couple of the design plans. So we won't make won't move to make any action. We'll just hold it in place. Okay. So go ahead and give us an update now. All right. Mr. Uh, we received uh, two very good proposals. Mm -hmm. One from Root Design Studio. Uh, <clears throat> one from the Foresight Group. Um, for the engineering and uh, 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 architecture preliminary and the survey work at the uh, at the town green, uh, just taking a look at everything now, listing some questions uh, as far as asking them to, to flesh some things out. Uh, just received these last week, uh, so that's why I put that this would just be a uh, an update, and kind of a placeholder. We sure aren't ready to uh, make a recommendation yet. And then have approval of the surplus list. Does anybody have any questions about that? Good card with point of transmission that we're going to sell. <laughs> <laughs> we then have approval of the answer counterclaim motion to intervene and other responsive motions and pleadings and funded expense costs for staff and alternative counsel for city council. Can you help me with it? All right. Can you turn it over to Mr. Powell for the report on that? This is the, the, the adoption of the city's official answer to the, to the case file. It's uh, as, as requested. Uh, we dealt with it individually, uh, where uh, copies of the answer and responsive pleadings have been provided to the council. We tried to do this in executive session, but not successful with doing that over the objection. So uh, we just need approval of those, res the, the, um, a motion to approve those that have been reviewed by council. I would, I would instruct council not to discuss the matter uh, when it comes to attorney-client communications that we've had. Those are still privileged, even though we have to do this in a public session. So it, it, it is also important that the mayor probably step aside. There's a conflict under your conflict group, so you need to leave the room. We then have our council reports, the mayor's report, and public comment. And that brings us to our work session agenda. I'd like to amend the work session agenda as a discussion item just to uh, Talk about this uh, resolution that um, we mentioned last at the last meeting, and uh, one that we put on uh, the next agenda. I think that's on the next agenda for uh, for a vote. Okay. Do we have any correspondence we need to review, Mr. Sanders? No, we do not. City attorney's report. I, I really never thought this day would come. Um, <laughs> the, uh, this. This morning, uh, we had the uh, special call of the Tisma case for all the defendants in it. Uh, we had settled the case with the Tisma folks. Uh, it'll result in a substantial check coming back to the city. I just delivered to the city manager $71,682 from the registry of 
court where the other heritage certified case was resolved. Uh, and so it's uh, very positive. The, the thing that is that I thought we'd never get to is all of the right of way for the LCI project is closed. <laughs> Yes, this is the tenant's uh, schedule for our volunteer of the year. Um, it's scheduled for um, March 8th, or sorry, March 8th, at the Summit Chase Country Club. And I'm, uh, I have spoken to most of the council members and to the city manager previously about helping, uh, having the city make a uh, contribution to that dinner. Um, I met with the members of the committee last Friday, and basically they were asking for $1,000 for the contribution. Uh, that <coughs> is the awards of all the people who are nominated for uh, volunteer the year, of course, will go to the dinner at no charge to them, plus it will supply them with the uh, plaques, and also supply the city with the plaque for the Marcy Ferris Award, which will uh, each year the winner will be will be uh, added to that. So um, I'm going to ask that we uh, amend our regular meeting agenda at the appropriate time to uh, include that on our regular meeting agenda and asking the council to uh, agree with me that we contribute $1,000 to the Marcy Ferris Volunteer of, uh, of the Year Award dinner. Question? Yes. Are we going to make this an annual event or are we going to address it each year? Um, I think maybe the budget, we maybe need to discuss that at the budget time. Maybe we should include it in the next year's budget. I don't know that we'll need the thousand dollars next year because the big plaque will already be purchased and grown. Right. You know, but um, this year. As a rolling um, budget item, yeah, maybe. Maybe it should be. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can discuss that for another budget. Okay. And then the resolution for council policy for appointments. Yes, again, I, I just got this this afternoon. Um, and basically, this pretty much just details what I've discussed with you all in the past, um, whereas people who apply for board uh, positions um, will have their application directly, directly to the board that they are interested in. The board, their, the board of their first choice. Yes. If there's multiple, it'd be their first choice. Um, I would think it would be their first choice. And okay. If they wanted to go through the vetting of several, that'd be up to them. But the first choice would get the first thing would get it first. Right. And uh, they would be vetted then by those, uh, by those particular boards and commissions. And it's just, it's all it sets out. It sets out that that's our, the council's wish that the, that the, uh, the council, uh, that the council will hold that, we will expect to have that done before we vote on a uh, confirmation of the board or, board or commission. That's all it says in here. It doesn't, uh, mayor's full points. We do, uh, it says that this shall be mandatory for the mayor to follow. Uh, and so under what authority are you making this mandatory for the mayor to follow? Page two, whereas... Desire to include this over the procedure for confirmation that shall be mandatory for the mayor to follow in order to secure approval. It's only mandatory if we get approval. It's not mandatory if you to do it. <laughs> If you want us to vote, well, that's what you need to do. All right. Anything else? We are in adjournment until 7.30. Well,